على أهرام إيجيبت. Yes. Sir, if I understand you clearly, you mean that you are threatening the Arabs, the area, that you can use your atomic weapons. Let me finish my question. Yes, what is the real value of peace which is supposed to be existing between Egypt and Israel and the peace which you are calling for between Israel and the Arab countries? To begin with, I would not give two rouge for the you know, peace between Israel and Egypt. To be quite uh, frank, and I, and if, and if I were Lloyds of uh, London, I would not ensure the life of your uh, of your president. What will happen when radicals in Egypt will do to him what was done to the previous one? Sir, so, sir, so just uh, just one moment. You were talking about peace. I don't believe that there are Arab moderates. I believe that there are two kinds of Arabs: clever ones and not clever ones. Egypt is a clever country. It realizes that it, it cannot beat Israel in a war, having tried five times and lost five times. Uh, and so, in peace, you got back the entire Sinai, an incredible tragedy on the part of Begin. Nevertheless, it was done. It will not be done with any other parts of land that Israel holds. It will not be done. Uh, I want peace. I live in Israel. I serve in the army. My son serves in the army. I want peace as much as anyone wants peace. But I'm not a fool. You don't want peace. You want Israel to give up the West Bank. That's what you insist upon because, because of uh, Palestine. And you want us to go back to the 1967 boundaries, and then you will, in, then and then you will be talk, talking about the UN, the UN call for the right of the. Refugees to go back to Jaffa and Haifa. Therefore, I can assure that had I been the prime minister, you would not be sitting in the Sinai. A mistake was made. It will not be done again. 